Hello everyone, this is Manong Guard of War Jeepney and I'm here to open my two limited edition figures from uh, GCT Studios from the Bushido system. I got these yesterday so it took around a month and a half to get from um, GCT Studios, ship it here to Manila in the Philippines and now I'm opening this up at around what 4.30 a.m. Uh, given my commitment to ensure that I don't get or don't pile up my Bushido backlog unlike my other game systems as you, as you can see I have a bunch to paint some um, night model stuff like uh, Harry Potter and some Batman miniatures as well Infinity, War Machine and of course GW with some blue horrors over there but let's not talk about that we're looking at this guy the Drunken Master. Very nice stats and abilities. He pairs up really well with uh, the Onisho. Um, I think it's called the uh, Elder Brother or Eldest Brother. I know that Nico actually did uh, an unboxing already. But what I'll do today is I'll show you how it's packed. And then um, I'll assemble and uh, tape that as well. And then finally... Uh, hopefully, I, I get to paint this out. Uh, as I mentioned, it's really early in the morning here in the Philippines. I want to be done painting and um, field it during our game day today. We're gaming in game in, games and gears, gears and games, games and gears <laughs> over in San Juan. Um, and um, the proprietor is a very good friend of mine. He has agreed to actually um, ship some. GCT miniatures for us, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a um, a growing community of Bushido players here in Manila, as well as in another province here in the Philippines called uh, Iloilo. So that's the model, fairly straightforward. I hope everything's there. And the one I'm more interested in is this guy because I play primarily. Cult of Ure. and I think it's gonna fill some gaps in my army. Our uh, cult is really known for tricks, and this guy is a heavy beater. So he has a, a melee stat of a three, which is fairly rare in, um, well, aside from the kamis, uh, fairly rare in Cult of Ure. and he has a bunch of melee abilities. Like a Brutal 1, Reach, Slam Attack 1, Sweep Attack 1, and Push Defense. So, uh, we'll see. He also has a Fear 6 stat, and he's immune to getting stunned. Right. The model's here. It's heftier than <clears throat> Drunken Master. Forgive my voice, because, again, I haven't really woken up. And that's an awesome Tetsubo. This is a beautiful model. So it's just three parts. Or four parts with the horn. I guess there's a horn there. So this guy's four parts. <clears throat> we have his hat. We have his horn. We have his arm with a tetsubo. And the main body. This one on the other hand has an arm with a sword. Or a couple of swords. Yep. Maybe that's a wakazashi. The other one. And then... He has another arm with a drinking jug for his alcohol. I, myself, uh, have always been a big fan of Drunken Master, Jackie Chan's movie. And let's see if this guy performs just like that. Right. So, out for now, I'll assemble this and then uh, I'll get back. The entire assembly process took me around 13 minutes. So, that's assembling this guy, which came in a four parts so that's body tetsubo and then i decided to do a sub assembly just one sub assembly right that's a hat and his horn drunken master i assembled completely both were based using cork which i have yet to seal so it's gonna take around another minute or two to seal those corkboard bases and then i'll be waiting for it to dry uh, priming it and uh, the way I prime is I use 
uh, Zenithal Priming using this product, Vallejo Surface Primer. Uh, I'll do this in a black and a gray. And then after that dries, we'll get to painting this. I'll probably paint this. I don't know. Usually I paint it. I paint my models like 80% with my airbrushes. But I find that for my KM, Harry Potter models, and for Bushido, I've been painting everything by hand for some reason uh, these past few weeks. Right, so show you the paint job when it's done. Switching over to my airbrush table. Messy airbrush table. And um, I wanted to show you um, my accomplished Zenithal Prime, which brings out the great details on these GCT models. Actually, to tell you honestly, when I started looking at the Bushido miniatures, it really didn't do anything for me. But um, I found out that in person, they are really awesome models. And uh, especially that Onisha right there. I did a controlled Zenithal here, used a black uh, initial prime from Vallejo, and then did a gray controlled prime. I, I used a single airbrush, which is a Model 100, yay, a Badger Model 100 for the entire process. Uh, given that the models seem fairly large, I'll probably do airbrush detailing and basing with, I don't know, Probably the chrome. Yeah, I guess the chrome would be enough. Or if I find it too uh, large for the, these models, I'll probably switch out to the Sotar. Right, so that's my Zenithal Prime. I'm a big believer. I think 80%, 90% of the War Jeepney painters use Zenithal Priming now, either out of a rattle can or in uh, most cases we do it with our airbrushes. Right. Okay, I'm done with the um, airbrush work. I decided to just airbrush the skin and the cloth, the main parts of the models, um, so that I can pick out the details later. Right, I'm happy with that avocado green on um, the Onisha and the pale skin. I will probably try to make it a little redder in, in the face uh, with the brushwork because he is drunk. I managed to finish Elder Brother, the Onisho. Um, I got to a point where I was happy with the skin tones and the, and the robes which I airbrushed. But as I was doing the final details, I put my thumb in some gold paint and smudged a lot of gold on his belly so you can still faintly see that there's some gold there uh, ruined some of the airbrush effect that I did but you know it's it's, it's fine I, I did a hand brush correction okay uh, decided not to go through with rush painting drunken master because I want to get games in today and it's almost lunchtime it, it with watching the boys and having and cooking breakfast and having breakfast it took uh, a total of around like five hours of which uh, maybe four hours was all about drying the paint right. happy with how it turned out fairly I will do some flocking and basing eventually but for now I will pause and I will get back to you on how he performs on the table the funny thing is I brought two Hi. lists we're all here Units have playing in uh, Gears and Games, and uh, this guy no, had three games to do it. Uh, two games to do it. Two games, one against Savage Wave, and one against the Ito Clan. It did pretty well. I didn't field them in my last game because... You should buy one. I don't have one. You should buy one. But that's um, Blister to table for you. This morning he was in Blister. I assembled him, I painted him, fielded him, he did well. Because painted models always do better. Also, you have to be really